Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. We're going to talk some mountain weather, and of course, we're going to talk this heavy rain. Look at this, the live radar over uh, Colorado. That's Denver. You can see all this rain moving from the uh, the southwest towards the northeast, just inundated by rain here in Colorado over the last 45 to 50 days. Abnormally wet. Uh, record amounts of rain in many cases. In Denver, we've had like 11 inches of rain. We only get 15 in a typical year, and we've had 11 inches in just like the last 45 to 50 days. So um, here's what I'm going to be covering in this update today. We'll talk about wet Colorado and when this pattern subsides and changes. Um, we're going to look at the big trough that's going to hit the Pacific Northwest and it will deliver some snow to the very highest of terrain. We'll look at that and we'll look at a normalization of the pattern which I think will happen by the late part of June and maybe even into early July. So we'll jump into all of that. My first uh, my first live cam, this is from Camp Sherman at about 9,500 feet on Mount Rainier. Um, so, and I've been up this, uh, I camped in this area, um, and we left the next morning for the summit, so I'm very familiar with this. But you can see now the, the summit is shrouded. Um, this is going to be an unsettled pattern from basically tonight all the way through the 21st. So through the middle of next week, we're going to see some snow on the top of Rainier, and we're going to see a lot of wind. We've had a very nice period of weather, and I've had a lot of friends who've uh, climbed Rainier in the last week or so, but now it's going to turn windy and it's going to turn stormy. Um, so that's the way it looks right now. That's not the way it actually looked this morning, and let me just show you what that looked like. So this was the view this morning. It was actually blue skies, and I commented in my analysis that that's going to be changing, and, and as you can see from that current vantage point, it has definitely changed. All right, here's what's going on. Um, so this is water vapor satellite. So the oranges and reds represent drier air aloft. The whites and the blues represent your moisture. So let me just mark uh, as to what is happening here. There's a big area of low pressure. That's the big trough that is affecting Rainier in the Pacific Northwest. There's also an area of low, area of low pressure here, although not as big, but it's what's causing all the heavy rain in Colorado. So those are the two main weather features. Let me see if I can uh, highlight this as to how these are going to move. So there's your rich flow with the one low. There's another rich flow on the subtropical jet. Now that's what's responsible for all this heavy rain across parts of the west over the last 45, 50 days. But this is going to be a big player. As this trough moves down, it will set up shop across the Pacific Northwest for several days. And that's what's going to drive the cooler temps, the wind, and the snow over the high cascades and a lot of the higher volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest. And I did talk about that this morning um, in my analysis. Um, so let me just show you all. This was another live cam. This was from Colorado. It was a cloudy all day here. And now we're starting to see um, the atmosphere is just primed for moisture. And we're getting that now. This was the view atop of Pikes Peak this morning. There is a record amount of snow for this time of the year on top of Pikes. We've had like two or three different super soak events that have been heavy snow on top of Pikes. And you can see how deep it is up there. I mean, that is not normal for this time of June. So why is it so wet? Well, and I've pointed this out before, but it has to do with the subtropical jet stream. This is, it is abnormally strong, and it is just old, like an open door. Let me just take this full so you can see this. So look at the southern branch, the branch of the jet coming in off the Pacific, hitting SoCal and parts of Arizona and New Mexico. Well, that's an escort. That is escorting all this moisture. There's an open door. It's just bringing it in like a conveyor belt. And these areas of low pressure are riding that subtropical jet. That's why it's been so abnormally wet across parts of the West for the last 45 to 50 days. Now what we're going to see is another player. You see the northern branch of the jet? There's a streak running along it. Those oranges and those reds. That's coming south and that is representing that big trough that's going to hit the Pacific Northwest. So those are the key players in this forecast. Let me show you what the trough looks like in the middle of the atmosphere. It's clear. It's like a big bowling ball. You can see it right there. I marked it as an area of low pressure. This is valid on Sunday, 618. Um, big trough. Uh, the, the deviations on this the atmospheric pressure deviations are running about two to three standard deviations below the 30-year norm. So this is a sizable trough for this time of year. Look at the southern branch. It's also a player. You've got two different areas of low pressure moving um, out of the South Pacific and through the southern United States. So the two of these features are feeding all of this moisture across the west right now. Now take a look at this. 
I want to show you what happens with the normalization of this pattern down the road. Look at that. So this is valid on the 27th. I think any time after the 24th, we're going to see a ridge of high pressure develop across the West, parts of the West, not all of it, but certainly the desert Southwest. You can see the big high. This would, I think, run right into the 1st of July. And so what are the effects? What's the bottom line with this? Well, here's what happens if this sets up. Drier. A normalization. It may not be totally dry, and I don't think it will be, but we'll see more normal type precipitation patterns across Colorado, across Wyoming, across Idaho, across Utah, across New Mexico, across Arizona, across California, if this plays out. So it won't be so wet. It won't be wetter than normal if this plays out. Um, and I think what this also could signal is a delay. This is July 1st, valid July 1st a slight delay of monsoon season, which typically kicks in June or late um, into early, late June, early J July through August. This could uh, indicate a slight delay on it settling in because I don't see any anomalies yet on this for July 1st. So it could be a little bit late. Um, so that's the way things I think are gonna shake out. We've got the big trough, we've got a wet pattern in Colorado, and then we've got everything sort of normalizing as we get into late June, early July. Thanks guys for tuning in here. Always appreciate it and take care.